Lisa Center. It's a must to get there. Hey, it's not true. Not true at all. Because there are programs that IELTS and other English tests are not required. You need to have a big amount of money in the bank. Great news! Not all the time, because there are programs that proof of funds are not mandatory to process your application. It is expensive. False. We have options, and part of it is planning and goal setting. There is an age limit for a study permit. There is definitely no discrimination when it comes to learning new skills or studying a new course. The process is difficult. Not really, because the Visa Center is there for you every step of the way. How much is the cost of my application? The best thing for us to do is to ask the TVC consultants, wherein they will give us the comprehensive pricing scheme depending on the country that what you would like to apply for, the program that you're eligible to take, and the type of visa that you prefer. Here are some of the amazing benefits of becoming an international student in Canada. Apart from having an internationally recognized qualification, you can work part-time during your study and full-time during semester breaks. Your partner can work unlimited hours as a holder of permanent work permit during your study. Apply for postgraduate work permit after your study and stay in Canada with your family. You may include kids in your application and they can study for free in public schools. As an international student, you gain extra points for your permanent residence application. You and your partner may qualify for permanent residence after only one year of full-time work experience. Enjoy the fantastic climate and quality of life in Canada. Know if you are qualified today. The Visa Center. Shaping a better future. Here are the basic benefits of becoming a permanent resident in Canada. As a permanent resident, you get to work, study, or do business in Canada. Get access to their universal health care. You get the benefit of free education for children up to 18 years old and a highly subsidized secondary education. They also have the Canadian Child Tax Benefit where you get support from the government for raising your children. Unemployment insurance of up to 65%. Social security and age pension for your retirement. As a permanent resident, you also get to sponsor your family as a temporary or permanent resident. And of course, you have the luxury of traveling to and from Canada from the date that your visa has been granted. Experience the beauty of Canada as a permanent resident. And after accumulating years of living in Canada, you can apply for citizenship and hold a Canadian passport. Well, we all know that the Canadian passport is one of the most powerful passports in the world. Be our next successful client. The Visa Center. Shaping a better future. All right. Hello, guys. Good afternoon and welcome to the Visa Center Q&A. With fun games, ayan, I'm Julius Versano at alam ko po maaga ang ating episode ngayon. Ayan, especially sa mga viewers natin dyan na nasa Pilipinas. Ayan, so pasimula pala ng gabi, no? so for sure you have enough time talaga na matutukan ng ating discussion. Kasi for today, ayan, itutuloy-tuloy natin ang ating uh, pinag-uusapan dito sa The Visa Center. Naka-highlight tayo ngayon more on student pathway, okay? Or study pathway or study permit, ayan, sa sa Canada. Kaya meron tayong ipapakilalang bagong school partner natin. Ayan, lalo na sa mga kakakilala natin dyan, napakarami na pong Pilipino na nasa British Columbia. Ayan, ang favorite place ko na naman ang, uh, ang uh, magiging location natin. So, those who are watching right now, if you wanted to know more about uh, being an international student in Canada, And to understand more, yung school na ipapakilala ko sa inyo, ayan, so saan nga ba sila located, uh, ano yung requirements and qualifications, guys, 
ano naman yung benefits nyo if you are their student na and kung ano-ano pa, okay? Ma yan, makakasama natin ng special guest natin later on. She is the in uh, the in country manager. Kaya tutok lang po kayo muna dyan, okay? Pero syempre, bago ang lahat, ayan, i-welcome ko muna ang aking makakasama on our second half of our Facebook Live, all the way from our Nueva Ecija branch. Ayan, so let's welcome. We have Miss Emily. Hi, Miss Emily. Kumusta? Hi, Sir Juni. Kumusta? Ayun. So, bago ang lahat ito, I'm very happy now. Finally, we have a representative from our Philippine branches. Diba? Kasi we have Batangas and Nueva Ecija. So, tell me naman, para sa mga kababayan natin dyan na dumadalaw sa inyo for face-to-face -face consultation and also yung mga nag a sa inyo ng online uh, assessment and consultation natin. Kumusta naman yung, ano, yung uh, dami ng mga nag inquire uh, yung mga dumadalaw sa inyo dyan? Share ka ng konti. Ay, nako, Sir Judy, sa araw-araw, uh, hindi lang sa Facebook page ng Nueva Ecija, para sa mga own Facebook namin, marami talaga nag-i-inquire ngayon, especially student visa. Kasi di ba, last time, may have a client din na nag-granted yung visa. So, tinag niya ako sa Facebook niya. So, ngayon, dagsa din yung nag-congratulate. Ngayon, dagsa din sila nag-inquire sa akin. So, malaking bagay din yung ganun na marami pa rin pala talaga na gusto talaga na mas magandang future pa rin. Yes. Gusto mag-aaral ng Canada. Yeah, true. Alam naman natin, uh, there are actually, I can say, na dalawang reason ano, why uh, our kababayans are actually wanted to start their application for an international student. Uh, kasi nga, number one, definitely, diba, once they graduated, malaking tulong sa kanila no, that they have that international diploma. But at the same time, they will also help them to get more scores diba, or points if they wanted to pursue yung kanilang uh, application into a permanent residency. Yeah. Anyway, ayan, batiin muna natin yung viewers natin. We have Aliana Kalianet and we have Kylie Cole na nanonood sa atin ngayon. Okay. So, Miss Emily, stand by ka. Okay, babalik tayo sa second half ng ating uh, Facebook Live with you talking about permanent residency naman. Okay? Okay. All right. So ito guys, para sa mga viewers natin dyan, standby po kayo. I'm just going to play two commercials. Yan, ilan sa mga successful applicants natin, ano, especially Canada yung pinag-uusapan natin. And then after that, ipapakilala na natin ang ating special guest para po makilala nyo naman ngayon ang bagong school, ang bagong school partner natin dyan po mismo sa British Columbia sa Canada. So we will be back after these commercials. Hi, my name is Marjo Lubalili from Uzami City, Misami, Occidental, Philippines. I am an international student taking a post-degree business diploma at Coast Mountain College. It is my dream to come in Canada and I have I have given the opportunity to study at Coast Mountain College and I want to experience how to be a um, international student. I came here with my husband and I have two kids that has been stuck in the Philippines due to COVID and I have my aunt here who lives over like 20 years. I personally work at A&W, so it's a fast food restaurant. I choose um, A&W uh, because I worked before at a fast food restaurant way back home. And we arrived here in Terrace days after when they locked the border. We did like self-isolate for 14 days. So we travel like away from like people, so we went um, driving for like six to eight hours and we got to see bears, caribou, deer, and moose as well. Every experience that I had in Canada are memorable. It's my first time to see the snow. It's my first time to drive on a four-wheel vehicle. <laughs> and like, it's because I, um, I love to travel and like go on adventure that I haven't experienced way back home because it's so expensive. It was not hard for us because there are a lot of Filipinos and international students um, who's living in Terrace and I don't feel like homesick. It's because like I have friends like who came from the place where I can communicate with the same language. Terrace is the best place that I could recommend for international students to start. The cost of living is so cheap and there are a lot of Filipinos to help you to start.
Philippines dito ngayon sa The Visa Center at ayan na ang kanilang mga visa. Ayan. So saan po tayo na-approve? Canada po. Okay. So short ano lang po story, uh, paano niyo po nahanap yung uh, The Visa Center at bakit dito kayo nag nagtiwala na magpa-process ng inyong visa? Through Facebook, sir, nakita ko din, nag-message ako, din nakausap ko ng si, si Sir Lawrence. Tapos yun na, sir, kung tamo yun, pa-assist, din yun na po, dire-direcho na ako. Ayan. So, sir, uh, message naman po sa mga fo followers namin uh, na about sa Visa Center. Uh, kung gusto niyo po magpa-assist, going to Canada or Australia, punta lang po kayo sa Visa Center and we guarantee na legit po sila and tutulungan po nila kayo to attain your dreams. Proven and tested po. Highly recommended. Legit na legit po. Alright. Thank you po. Ito na po ang aming visa. Yeah. Finally. Finally. Today, May 20. So, finally, ako na po. Thank you, TV. Sa ang country po tayo na approve po. Uh, <laughs> Canada. Today na lang na po namin na approve na po kami sa Canada. Okay. Um, through Facebook si mm -hmm. Sir Juni kasi lagi siyang before, di ba? Mm -hmm. Lagi siyang nagbablog. So, doon namin nakakilala yung TVC. So, kailan po na-submit yung application nyo and then kailan po siya na-approve? Um, Feb February 26 yung mm -hmm. lodging na, date namin. And today, um, May 20. Apo. So, finally approved na po yung application namin. Ano po yung pwede nyo sabihin sa mga inspiring clients na gusto mag-migrate sa Canada? I-expect na natin na merong delay. Pray lang talaga. Kasi, alam naman natin na lahat ng pinagpapray natin is magiging magagrant one day, which is today nagrant na nga yung application namin going to Canada. Thank you, TBC. Ayan. Highly recommended. Okay, so we are back guys at yan po ang ilan sa mga approved applicants natin. Ayan, papunta po ng Canada. Alright, so now ito na, papakilala na natin ang makakasama ko this afternoon dito sa Dubai and this evening dyan sa Pilipinas. Ayan, so let's call the in-country manager of Coast Mountain College dyan po sa British Columbia. Please welcome Miss Anna Pukong. Hello Miss Anna, kumusta po? Hi! Uh, good afternoon sa ating mga kababayan dyan sa Dubai and also good evening here sa Philippines. So yes, um, I'm very happy that you have invited Coast Mountain College to be part of this set event. So I, I'm really so excited and um, na, na makilala ninyo no, ang aming institution. Alright. Okay, so mga viewers natin dyan guys, standby po kayo ha. Because on the second half of our Facebook Live, si Visa Center po mamibigay pa rin ng uh, dalawang nag-2,000 dirhams worth of discount. Okay, sa ating fun game. Ayan, standby po kayo dyan. And of course, sa mga viewers natin dyan, just a little brief lang po before Ms. Anna will start her presentation para mas makilala nyo kung gaano kaganda ang Coast Mountain College. And those who are uh, decided na, no, uh, Because of our partnership, ang ano po, ang Coast Mountain College, we need na po nila ang uh, application fee. And some of you, uh, explain later on, Miss Anna, na with a certain qualification, pwede na po i-wave nila yung IELTS. Alam ko marami sa inyo dyan ang medyo sensitive kapag naririnig na may IELTS requirement pa sa naiti po. Okay. So, Miss Anna, ito na. Wag na natin patagalit. Sure. I will be the screen. Yeah, to share your presentation. Kaya sa mga viewers natin, if you guys have questions, clarifications, feel free to write down po sa ating comment box at babasahin natin yan at the end ng presentation ni Miss Anna para po mas malinawan kayo. Okay, tag your friends and share our Facebook Live para po mas maraming makasali sa ating discussion. Alright, so um, let me know if you guys Oh, you have to share the screen. Yeah, one more. Ah, no, wala siya. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Can you see it? Uh, I can actually share it now, pero hindi pa siya nag-load yata. Ano ba? Ayaw pa. Baka gawa ng signal. Anyway, sige. So guys, let's standby muna para sa mga viewers natin dyan. Yan, medyo mahina lang yung signal na ni Miss Anna. So now, let's check uh, if magiging okay na. Pagbalik niya, but for now, ito na, uh, para sa mga viewers natin dyan, ito guys, uh, thank you so much sa mga ilan na nag-comment nag ano, at nag-shout out dyan. Alam natin, it's Saturday afternoon, ilan sa atin ay naka-day off, di ba? Swerte yung ilang mga OFW na dalawang araw ang kailang day off, Friday and Saturday. So ito na, ibalik na natin si Miss Anna. The presentation is ready. Miss Anna? Can you see the screen, Sir Jenny? Yeah, it's okay now. All right, you may proceed, po. Okay. All right. So, um, welcome to Coast Mountain College, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, present to you more about our institution. So, I'm not going to play this video. Please do check on our YouTube channel, Coast Mountain College. Um, marami tayo mga videos about CMTN. All right, so um, here's our province, British Columbia. So if you see the regions are numbering. So if you see number two, this is Lower Mainland. This is where Vancouver is. So we are not located in Vancouver. We are located here in number six, which is the Skeena region. So from the point of entry, which is Vancouver, you take 1.5 hour flight going to the city of prince rupert terrace which is the main city and smithers okay so we have five pero tatlo lang yung ina accept naming campuses for international students now what what's the 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 good part of of living in the northwest region is that you get to experience all four seasons so let me show you some photos so this is how it looks like during um winter time so if you see here here's our filipino korean students no so they've already completed their uh, programs at coast mountain college just this year and right now they're on to their pgwp journey at the naman during fall and at the naman summer so this is the top view shot of the city of terrace um if you notice it is surrounded we we the, the northwest region is a um it's a coastal mountain no so we are surrounded by lakes um rivers mountains so if na picture niyo yung bagyo or Benguet, or a bit of Patanes. So that's how it looks like the Northwest region. No? So it's more on nature talaga. No? All right. So this is our um, terrace campus. This is the main campus. Okay. So during fall or September intake, um, students uh, studies here. No? So I mean, um, September, I'm sorry, so I mean main campus, which is the Terrace campus. So um, let's uh, have a uh, video of our Terrace campus, um, Micah. Hi, my name is Jessica Scaife and I'm part of the recruitment team here at Coast Mountain College and today we're going to take you on a tour of the Terrace Campus. I'm standing in front of the main registration building which is called Wapsiam, also known as House of Spruce. This is where you will find our student services team, our admissions officers, our records department and it's where you can register for classes. It's also where most of our regular classes are offered. 
Now we're standing in WAPSAM, and this is where you'll find our student services team, which consists of educational advisors, learning assistance specialists, accessibility service coordinators, as well as the recruitment team. Okay, so this is our admissions and registration area of the college, and this is where you can come and pay for your tuition, you can pay for your dorm rent, you can order transcripts. We have our admissions officers down the hallway, as well as our financial aid officer and our student records team. So also in the House of Spruce, we offer our health programs. We have two state-of-the-art health labs, and we offer a healthcare assistant program, an access to practical nursing program, as well as an RN nursing program. This is one of two health labs at Coast Mountain College. This is our biology lab, so our anatomy and physiology classes, as well as our micro microbiology classes, take place in this lab. This is our second science lab, and this is for our chemistry and physics programs, as well as our geography and geology programs. This is our yurt. Its circular design lends itself to active learning and class discussion. It's located in the courtyard between Wapsom and Wapak. This is our campus store. It's located in Wapak, also known as House of Birch. It's where you can get your textbooks and supplies for your classes, as well as Coast Mountain College swag. Wapak is also where you'll find our student union, as well as the cafeteria. Okay, this is our Wapgatsap community house, and inside you'll see world-class art that was created by our Frida Deezing students, as well as instructors. Our longhouse is home to our First Nations Access Coordinators, and it's where we host orientation, campus feasts, as well as uh, cultural activities on campus. This is Lot Frida Deezing. This is home to our First Nations Fine Arts program. This program is a carving program that transfers into third year at Emily Carr's Bachelor of Fine Arts. This is our Wap Amgam, also known as House of Cedar. This is where you'll find our Cedar Cafe, our library, as well as our fitness facility and our trade shops. So we offer electrical, carpentry, automotive, heavy duty mechanics and welding, and many more trades at this campus. This is our fitness center, where you will find a variety of workout equipment, including free weights and spin bikes, as well as treadmills and rowing machines. Thanks for joining me on our tour of the Terrace campus today. If you have any questions about applying or registering for courses at Coast Mountain College, please email recruitment at coastmountaincollege.ca. Um, Laika, so um, now is um, our fall 2022 slots, okay, for September 2022 slots at Terrace Campus, available na po ang lahat ng programs natin dyan. So just just uh, book um, with uh, TVC and they'll be able to assist you. All right, so here's our um, Prince Rupert Campus. <clears throat> Sorry, it's by the coast. So during um, January or winter intake, students will um, study here. Now, the good thing about uh, the, what's best here is that uh, Prince Rupert campus is that the the downtown area is just a walking distance to school. This is our Smithers campus. So during spring or May intake, um, students will study here. Now our slots for May 2022 intake, the business programs available pa po, okay, I'm adding um, business programs for our May 2022 intake. So this is our um, student life activity. So these photos are taken recently, nito lang September 2021. Um, this is the orientation week for our um, fall 2021 students. So they come from different regions, the Son Visayas and Mindanao. So um, talagang uh, the, the Filipino students at Coast Mountain College is really growing, no? Okay, so here are the programs that we offer for our international students, okay? We do have our post-degree diplomas, university credits, certificates, and diplomas. So um, our Applied Coastal Ecology, it's a two-year diploma, and um, it's available sa lahat ng intake, so January, September, and May. And then all of our locations, Prince Rupert Terrace and Smithers. But I would highly recommend if you want to apply on this, those who are interested in environmental sciences, natural resources, mga ganyan, um, the January intake, kasi the campus is by the coast. no? So very ano siya, fit na fit talaga itong program na to. 
Okay, our business programs, ito yung mga in-demand talaga na programs sa mga Pinoy students natin. So, we do have our Diploma in Business Administration. So, in, with this, you get to choose your concentration on your second year. So, either you'll concentrate in accounting, um, general management, or human resources. So, available siya sa lahat ng intake and locations ng ating campuses. Post-degree diploma, um, ito naman, this is um, the most in-demand talaga sa ating mga Pinoy, no? Kasi um, with post-degree diploma business, most of our students are mature students. They are uh, bachelor uh, degree holders and they're already working prior to uh, taking the program. And right now, our post-degree diploma is still available for uh, May 2022 intake and at the same time, all of our programs, including this one, for fall 2022 slots are already available. Early childhood care and education, we do not offer this one for fall 2022. However, we do offer the social service worker um, one-year certificate or the two-year diploma. Now, um, if you are a teacher or a nurse or something that is related to mga community services, yung background ninyo, then social service worker um, is best for, for you okay, to take the program. West Coast Culinary Program, it's a two-year diploma. This is the newest um, program that we offer for our international students. So it's being offered every fall and it's it's at the terrace campus. Now, the good thing about this West Coast Culinary Program is that um, grade 10 po, I, we accept, okay? And um, it's a paid internship. And 95% of the time happens in the kitchen. So hands-on po talaga ang ating mga estudyante. And on the second year of their, um, uh, I mean, the tuition fee for second year, is it's lower po than the first year. Engineer certificate, if you are a graduating K-12 and you are um, thinking of uh, taking yung field ng engineering, you might want to try our engineering for um, one year certificate. And the good thing about this is that once you complete your first year of engineering sa Coast Mountain College, you can actually transfer all your credits um, into your second year of your preferred institution. University credit program, we do have our Associate of Arts or Science. So, um, available sa lahat ng um, intake and location. Now, this one naman, if you plan to say in the near future, you want to have a university degree. Okay, once you complete our um, Associate degree, uh, you can transfer to our partner university and just take two more years. Okay, because all credits will be transferred to your um, preferred uh, degree. So instead of four years, mushang it take just another two years. So that is still an equivalent of a four year bachelor's degree. So you get a bachelor's degree and also you get an associate degree from postmodern college. All right, so if you um, will be enrolled, no? For our fall 2022, we do offer 30 international student entrance award, okay, for the following programs like applied coastal ecology, university credit, social service worker, and engineering certificate. So um, you may apply for this once you are enrolled with uh, once you are enrolled at Coast Mountain College. And um, you may qualify for a 2,200 Canadian dollars award. No? So, malaking uh, bagay din po iyon. So, um, if you're eyeing for this eligible programs, then you may qualify for our um, student, International Student Entrance Award. Okay, so one of the highlights of um, Coast Mountain College is our experiential place-based learning or what we call field school. So, in the Philippines, it's like summer school. You no, know? the twist is that um, during field school, students will go out of their classroom for two weeks 
so depending on the program and the and and the um the program and the location um mag vary siya no but so yeah you when you um register uh for the field school um you're going to have fun outdoor um you'll learn and at the same time you'll gain credits okay so the 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 woman here the lady the student below here um she's our ECC student si Ma Maria she's actually completed um, her ECCE um, program just this uh, July, and right now she's already on her PGWP. Okay, so why choose Coast Mountain College? So we are a small class size. So um, the average class size is between 12 to 32. Um, the maximum is 35. So there's really more one-on-one -on -one time with instructors. And then we are connected small communities. Okay, so um, we are not located in the in a metropolitan area. So we are located in a, in a non-metropolitan area. So meaning to say, we are not a tourism region. Okay, so in the region, in the northwest region, people are well connected, and um, our Filipino and Canadian um, community is already growing, and we do value our um, indigenous people, which is the First Nations people. Now, 95 to 97% of our international students remain in the region because of the following. One is that job opportunities, okay? 100% um, of our Pinoy students, okay, when they completed their programs, they, they have jobs, okay? Why? Because it's like here in the Philippines, if you completed your 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 degree, kunyari sa province, no? and then most of them naman, they go to cities or in Manila, ganyan, for a greener pasture. So here, the domestic students, when they completed their, um, their program, they go to bigger cities. So the jobs that are actually for domestic students, Napunta na sa international students natin. Kaya there's really job opportunities. And at the same time, um, napakalaki po no? ng, ng, um, ng land area ng Northwest region. In fact, Terrace alone, the city of Terrace, the population is just 15,000 pa lang po. No? So imagine niyo po na napakakonti ng tao pero maraming trabaho. Okay? Second is that low cost of living. Okay. Um, of course, if you compare to um, bigger cities, malakit po ang difference yan, definitely. No, but I'm telling you the accommodations later on. We'll talk more about that. The food, you know, um, the the school. If you're bringing your kids with you, it's free until senior high school for public schools. Next is that um, if you are into say. Um, if you want to be away from busy city life, away from traffic, you know, Coast Mountain College and Northwest Region talaga, I fit na fit sa inyo. If you, if you are a um, nature lover and um, your, your hobbies are, you're into biking, trekking, camping, hiking. So, um, yan yung mga hobbies ng mga, um, ng mga Northwest people, no? So, uh, and then, of course, we are one of the lowest tuition rates in BC. Later on, mas matutuwa pa kayo kasi bukod sa low cost of living, low tuition fee, mataas din po ang ating early rate. Alright, so if you are a K-12 graduate or um, a college graduate, hindi na po namin nire-require ang IELTS, no? We do not require IELTS, nor the in medium of instruction, no? Um, more so, in a case-to-case -case basis, um, if you completed your first two years in college, um, na-complete mo yung math mo, and English, yung basic math and English subjects mo, yung first two years mo, then you may um, be qualified for an IELTS for for waiving of IELTS. Yeah. Okay, admissions process is very easy. 
Okay, we do it online, no? Sa EduPlanner BC. That's the platform where we fill out the application. There's 100 Canadian dollar application fee. However, because um, TVC is our partner, they will be able to waive, no? They will be able to waive the application fee for you guys. So that's 100 uh, Canadian dollars slash sa inyong um, application um, fees. So um, now this one, after we receive your um, application, we will be sending you an email asking you to send your scan documents. Napakadali lang po ng scan documents na hinihingi namin. TOR and the diploma. Okay? Now, once we already have that and we evaluated it, and we see that you you are approved of the program, then we will ask you to pay the non-refundable tuition deposit of seven thousand Canadian dollars. Now that includes your um that includes your uh, first SEM tuition fee and the temporary insurance from Guard E. Okay, and then when everything is okay, we have received the payment, then um we will process your letter of acceptance and once you receive your loa tvc will be able to process your student visa okay so this is um the the website that i'm referring to okay so just type it here coast mountain college on campus housing, so we have our brand new three-story student housing, okay, sa Terrace po yan. And um, we also have our off-campus housing, which most of our, actually all of our Filipino students, they're living off-campus, no? Um, they're living in the downtown area para near sa kanilang part-time jobs. Now, and how much ba ang accommodation sa off campus so if you are uh, planning to have a room rentals nasa around 500 to 800 dollars per month if you're if you bring your family with your your family with you or you're with your spouse or say a group of students kayo na you would want to rent a, a house so mga studio um, apartment or two to three bedroom house it ranges from 900 to at least two thousand um dollars monthly so right now yung mga fall 2021 students natin we have two groups done na they they're renting a two to three bedroom house so imagine you na lang if they got it uh it, they one got it at 800 um dollars canadian dollars so cheap just do the math, no? So, kung i, i uh, si split natin siya into four or five, malaking tipid, no? Alright, so, um, you might think, nako, Anna, um, remote naman yata sa, coast Ma sa, sa Northwest region, dyan sa may Coast Mountain College. Hindi naman po, no? So, Canada is still Canada, and uh, we all, we you know, we have complete amenities and facilities Facilities, no? We have our shopping malls, uh, recreational centers, uh, churches, um, restaurants, fast food chains, hotels, lahat, name it. No? And um, here, some of the, the photos I'm showing you, some of our um, uh, Pinoy students are having their part-time jobs at Walmart, Safeway, and Okay, so international program fee per year. So 10 courses, it, it, it averages between 13 to 15,000. So depende po yan sa program ninyo. Now, some program will require elective courses, so that's additional fees. Now, textbooks and supplies, that is just the maximum, 2,000 Canadian dollars. However, our Filipino students, no, dahil maabilidad talaga mga Pinoy, what they do is that they actually buy used books from our former um, students, no? So, para makatipid, why not? Kasi um, in good condition pa naman ang mga libro. So, total per year can average between um, 50, 14 to at least 19,000 per year. So, um, it's still affordable, okay, compared to um, colleges in the bigger cities. 
And of course, this is subject to change. Post-graduation work permit, all of our programs are PGWP eligible. Now, um, all of our Filipino um, students, they actually have a two-year diploma. Why? Because if you get the two-year diploma, that is equivalent to up, it's up to three years post-graduation work permit. So um, if you are planning to say, um, you know, if you're planning to have a uh, permanent residency, diba? Uh, which is actually the end goal naman talaga, then the three years post-graduation work permit is just enough for you to um, work on your PR. Katulad nga kanina, diba, this is a commercial ni Sir Juni, diba? After one year of full work, you can, you may qualify na, you may process na your application for permanent residency. Okay, part-time work, um, 20 hours per week for full-time and of course, unlimited um, hours siya for um, during summer break or Christmas break. Ito yung sinasabi kong great news, no? Because just this June 2021, we have increased our hourly rate from 1465 to 15.20 and this is across British Columbia. So this is the minimum wage, ha? We have some students who are earning more depende sa part-time job nila, no? So, ang maganda pa nito is that our students um, at the height of um, pandemic last year, they were able to keep their jobs, okay? And masaya sila na dahil nga ngayon na nag-increase yung ating um, minimum wage. So, nung summer, Okay, um, unlimited, diba? So sabi nila, Anna, you know what? Um, we were able to save up for our tuition fee for the following year. So, ganun, um, more so na meron silang spouse or, or partner kasi unlimited hour siya. So, ganun, um, I, I would just advise you guys that if you really plan to study abroad or study in Canada, make sure na lang that the first year, you already prepared for your first year tuition fee, no? Para worry-free na kayo for your first year kasi yung uh, part-time um, pay niyo, you can spend that sa expenses niyo, like yung housing niyo, yung food, and then hataw na tayo sa, um, hataw tayo sa, sa uh, during our um, uh, breaks, no? During our breaks, pag, pag Christmas and summer breaks. So this is our um, student services, okay, that we offer. I'd like to emphasize yung learning assistant specialist natin or what we call the LES team. Now, if you are having difficulty with your homeworks, term paper, yung mga essay writing, yung mga math homeworks ninyo, you can uh, message our LES team within 24 to 48 hours. They'll be able to respond and assist you with your um, homeworks or assignments. Okay, so um, like uh, we let's play um, March story. Uh, this is so interesting. So um, uh, yeah, let's watch this. Hi, my name is Marjolu Balili from Musami City, Misami, Occidental, Philippines. I am an international student taking a post degree business diploma at Coast Mountain College. It is my dream to come in Canada and I have I have given the opportunity to study at Coast Mountain College and I want to experience how to be a um, international student. I came here with my husband and I have two kids that has been stuck in the Philippines due to COVID and I have my aunt here who lives over like 20 years. I personally work at A&W so it's a fast food restaurant. I choose um, a and uh, because I work before at a fast food restaurant way back home. And we arrived here in Terrace days after when they locked the border. We did like self-isolate for 14 days. So we travel like away from like people. So we went um, driving for like six to eight hours and we got to see bears, caribou, deer 
and moves as well. Every experience that I had in Canada are memorable. It's my first time to see the snow. It's my first time to drive on a four-wheel vehicle. <laughs> and like, it's because I, um, I love to travel and like go on adventure that I haven't experienced way back home because it's so expensive. It was not hard for us because there are a lot of Filipinos and international students um, who's living in Terrace and I don't feel like homesick. It's because like I have friends like who came from the place where I can communicate with the same language. Terrace is the best place that I could recommend for international students to start. The cost of living is so cheap and there are a lot of Filipinos to help you to start. And so, um, just to trivia, you know, March is supposed to graduate pa next year. However, tinuloy-tuloy niya yung kanyang studies while um, she's working. So, nito lang August, she completed her post-degree. Um, so, dun sa, sa video, di ba, um, she's, she's working part-time sa ANW. Now na complete na siya, ANW actually absorbed her. So, she's currently now on her PGWP and ang kanyang position is supervisory. All right, so um, please do um, check out our website, Coast Mountain College, um, and also uh, check out our um, Facebook page, Anapokong Coast Mountain College Philippines, for more updates about Coast Mountain College. So that's it. Thank you so much, TVC, and uh, I am welcoming questions now. Thank you. Sir Jeannie, you're on mute. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Anna. Ayan, tayo. So, thank you so much for that presentation. So, we received a couple of questions na coming from our viewers. Yeah, so ito may mga ilan tayo mga questions na dito. No? This is a very good question coming from Michael. Ito, ito nga naman yung scenarios. Na, Siyempre, we cannot deny the fact na, yes, ang first process is, di ba, we need to enroll sa, sa Coast Mountain College. Okay, pero the problem is what if lang naman we refuse yung visa application. Uh, meron ba tayong refund na magagaling from the school, if ever? Yes, um, the only exception is that, um, syempre hindi natin pinapanalangin, no? pero just in case may visa refusal tayo, we do refund the tuition deposit. We are just going to less um 200 canadian dollars for administrative fee and then the rest will be refunded oh okay so this is the good part guys now why are you entrusting everything sa the visa center because that's our expertise uh common reason ng mga rejections ng naman is hindi nila ma-validate yung intent nyo for studying sa Canada, yung tipong ganun. So, with our more than 20 years of experience processing student visa applications, eh, expert po ang ating mga processing officers to justify yung purpose, to connect to, let's say, ano man yung future plan mo, why this is very important, and why why study in Canada. So, yan ang kagandahan that you have an agency like the Visa Center para itong refusal ng inyong visa is not going to uh, put into waste. Okay? Ayan, so ito may tanong si Christian. Ayan, do you offer scholarship? Although, uh, ayan, uh, pakisagot na lang, Miss Anna. <laughs> Kung may okay. scholarship, um, cool. Okay. In terms of entry scholarship, wala po tayo niyan kasi mababa na po ang tuition fee natin. However, as I've mentioned kanina, we do, we are offering 30 international um, student entrance award for new students no, na mag enroll sa amin under the eligible programs. Ano-ano ba to? Uh, applied Coastal Ecology, the so Social Service Worker, Associate Degree in Arts or Science in the first year ng engineering, I mean the engineering 
um, certificate namin. Okay, so when you qualify for that, naka-enroll na kayo, you may apply for that. So you may have a chance to be awarded 2,200 Canadian dollars. Now, halimbawa, sabi mo, Ana, wala naman ako dun sa program na yon. Nasa business program ako, ano bang po pwede? We have financial aids under sa website na. It's called Bursaries and Awards. Ito naman, we have a, a list of private organizations. We have a list of private or um, organizations that offer that offers ano they offer awards. So mamimili ka doon kung saan ka maka-qualify kung fit yung requirement mo, then you can apply for a bursary award. Mm, all right. So yun guys, para sa mga nag aim dyan, maging scholarship, may malaking tulungan naman talaga if you have that scholarship, di ba? So at least, since as a student sa Canada po, you are allowed to work 20 hours per week. So at yes. least instead of you, di ba, paying that much for your tuition, then why not save that money into something else pa? Or alam mo yun, kasi nga, uh, yun naman yung goal natin din eh, uh, to Kaya tayo nasa ibang basa to save money for our future. Okay, so we have a question here from, uh, I think, Emed. Ayan, sabi, hello po, po nag-apply ng permanent, oh, bakit PR to? Okay, okay. <laughs> Ms. Emily, please uh, ano, uh, take note of question from Emed. Ayan, so ang next question natin, ito, si Divine. Sabi niya, grade 10 or high school yes. curriculum? Oh, school curriculum. Graduate are accepted for chef courses? Yes, um, that's good news because we do accept grade 10 for our West Coast Culinary Program. Alam niyo po, in demand po talaga sa British Columbia and uh, across Canada ang, ang chef, no? Y yung culinary industry. So, yes, we do accept grade 10 po. Or the high school old curriculum. Okay, so that, that's good news. Ha? So, alam naman natin, napakaraming Pilipino talaga ang nasa food and beverage industry. Mm -hmm. So, yes. diba, from, from the lowest position, no, 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 from the highest position down, may Pinoy po talaga. At saka siya may dyan tayo kilala eh, for, for, ano, for being, ano, uh, good service pagdating talaga sa hospitality. So, so, and Sir Jenny, makat lang kita, no, add ko lang, Ah, uh, maganda kasi sa culinary namin as I've mentioned earlier. Uh, it's a paid internship. Okay. okay. And then um the the second tuition fee, the second year tuition fee is lower than so, the first year. Oo. And and 95% of your time happens talaga in the kitchen. So uh -huh. very hands-on po talaga. Actual and, talaga siya. Yes. Yung laban sa Okay, so we have here na mention yung PGWP kanina. Yes, the uh, school is uh, helping, uh, supporting you guys with PGWP. IELTS is needed daw, sabi ni Jam. Yes, nasagot oh. po natin yan. Uh, Basta, Sir Juni, ha? Basta bachelor's degree uh, or K-12 or um, yung first two years na sa college na complete niya. Ayun. Alright, at least siguro minimum nakapag two years college ka na then Sure yan, pasok na pasok ka na agad sa sa Oo kasi yung parang yung 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 yung, yung uh, English 12 parang equivalent yan ng second year college eh, parang ganoon eh or first year college. So, yun kasi tinitingnan, na satisfy mo yung English 12 and yung Math 12. All right. So we have here ito uh, we have a question from Mac. Engineering certificate mostly one year lang offer nyo. Okay na po ba yon to apply PGWP? Kasi one year lang. Okay. So, ganito yan, no? Um, once you have completed your engineering cert sa amin, um, and then you decide to enroll for another year, yan, um, we will help you out kung saan institution ka. So, most likely, parang lalabas, on your second year, it's gonna be a two year. So, up to three years post-graduation work permit pa rin yan. Unless... You just want to have a one-year cert, so that's equivalent to one-year post-graduation work for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we have to follow that because if that's the minimum requirement, then you can take another one, right? So that's the good thing. Okay, yes. there are many people uh, saying that they are really interested now. Acknowledge lang natin. Ina saying uh, she's interested. Uh, how much amount? Ayan, na mention na yun kanina. 
And of course, sabi ni uh, Michael, just in case we got the... Uh, no, no, no. Okay, let's get a new question na dito. Ayan, marami na tayong mga question. Ito na, ito maganda to kasi pera ang pinag-uusapan. <laughs> you know that they need po show money. Pag student, pag student pathway ba or study pathway, kailangan pa talaga ng show money dyan, Miss Anna? Um, actually po... This is about, ano, pag, no, this pag, is connected to visa application. Yes, pag school application po, ang ang need lang po talaga namin is that, of course, yung, yung, school, yung online application nyo and then you qualify sa program and then the tuition deposit. So that's it. Then we process your yeah. LOA. So I think it's Sir Juni makakasagot niya well, <laughs> for so the visa. Sir Rena Tagle Jr. Standby ka lang. Miss Emily will help us with that. Kasi nga, uh, may mga justification. No, there are reasons and justifications kung bakit minsan ka kailanganin siya ng show money. Pero let's uh, finalize later ano talaga yung tamang terminology. Kasi tayo parang very generic kasi yung show money. Eh. So balikan natin yan mamaya with Miss Emily. And of course, sabi ni Joyce, he's also interested. Guys, ulitin natin ha, wait po ang inyong application fee if you are uh, going to start po your your your, your application sa Coast Mountain at Mountain College. And of course, ito yung how much yung cost na nasagot na natin. Ito age ang pag-uusapan natin. Is, uh, hey, uh, uh, I like this part, Sir Judy. You know what? I have uh, an interesting story to tell, no? So, uh, of course, we did not discriminate. Alam niyo naman, pag learning is a continuous process. No, wala tayong age niya. Now, di ba kanina uh, when when I I had the uh, the the slides, no, doon may pina, may sinabi sa ko sa inyo na there's like a a, a woman doon sa picture na yon, si Mom Maria. So Mom Maria, she's a teacher sa summer, okay, an elementary teacher sa summer. So she took um ECCE sa Coast Mountain College. And she's actually the youngest of all Filipino students. No? She applied to Coast Mountain College at the age of 48. And she okay. graduated this year. So, so ayun, 50 years old siya. So, yes, it's true na, na, na talagang we do not discriminate. Um, at her age, na-approve siya, di ba? So, um, Ganun din, yung mga interested. No? So, yon Isa yon sa pinagmamalaki namin. And now, she's um, working in a daycare center uh, sa Terrace. Oh, that's nice. So, after she graduated, nag-land din siya ng job dan mismo sa Canada. Yes, kasi alam niyo po, oh. ang ECCE, ang SSW, it's one of the in-demand industries po. If, you, if I may say, no, if you notice po, limited lang po ang programs that we offer sa Coast Mountain College. Why? Because this is what the region needs. And we want to make sure that all of our students, no, especially our international students, when they complete their programs sa Coast Mountain College, there's really job opportunities for everyone. Sabi ko sa inyo, 100% ng Filipino students natin may mga trabaho po sila. Okay? Uh -huh. So, huwag po kayong matatakot na baka walang job. Kasi as I've mentioned, 15,000 pa lang po ang population sa terrace. Imagine how big the Northwest region is. And just to add, ha, LNG Canada, LNG Canada, that's the world's largest natural and gas um, company in the world. It's located in Kitimat. That's just 45 minutes away from Terrace. So marami pong trabaho ang, ang kinakailangan ng LNG Canada alone. So just imagine na lang po. And, and we have a lot pa na industries so, uh, and companies. So yeah. So perfect po talaga. All right, thank you for that. So, ibig sabihin nyo kasi importante, no? Kasi at the end of the day, kung makakuha ka ng work doon and then your right. employer magustuhan ka and, you know, matulungan ka to get your permanent residency, then why not? Okay, we Sir have Juni, some... Sound. Just yes, one na lang, Sir, Sir Juni, ha? Okay, ito po mga classic example. Yung mga spouses ng students natin, wala pang isang buwan nag-land, may work na sila. Uh, <laughs> so, ganun po kabilis. <laughs> Okay, that's actually another benefit guys no ng permanent ng uh, student visa or student pathway sa sa Canada kasi if you are 
you say with your husband or wife or partner, como lo partner. Yes. Ayun po, basta ma-justify nyo lang yung documents na kakailanganin, syempre. Uh, actually, baka kang sama sila sa inyo sa Canada with an open uh, job work permit. permit. Oo, work permit. Yeah. So, ibig sabihin, makakatulong siya. Imagine mo, hindi na siya nahirapan mag-apply. Okay? Kasi Unlimited nga, hours pa, ha? Oo, kasi full-time. And of full-time. course, you, can, you have the kids na. Eh, syempre, yes. yun ang kagandahan ko sa Canada. Let's cite one very good example. Let's say, dito sa Middle East, Pag nandito yung mga anak nyo kasi, pinag-aaral nyo ang mahal ng tuition fees. Hi. But if you have kids, okay, isa sa inyong mag-asawa yung mag-a-apply for a student visa. So, kasama na si husband or wife kasi uh, may open work permit naman siya. And bring your kids for as long as they are minors, free po ang education yes. nila doon. So, ang laki ng maititipin nyo. Kaya kami, we are really recommending this to to Filipino families talaga. Kaya ngayon, isang advertisement natin na lagi namin paulit-ulit na pinapakita, yung anak nila is kasama siya sa Canada. So, malaki- And marami po tayong students na kasama nila yung family nila kasi the Northwest region, it's very uh, good place po talaga to start a family in raising family there. Okay, so speaking of people in Canada, ayan, shout out kay Raymond Salo na nanonood sa atin sa Canada. Ayan, ah, uh, Na-miss niya daw. Tagal sa Facebook live ng message para ma-miss ako. <laughs> also, uh, napakadami ko kasing kaibigan sa British Columbia. Again, I keep on saying this. My titas are there. Uh, ilang mga friends ko din na mga, mga uh, ano bang klaseng coach sila? Parang life coaches na mga kakilala ko. Saan ba mga life coaches kasi ako? Ma- mahal lang. <laughs> Pero kasi malaking tulong siya. So, they are also based in Kaya sinabi ko kayo sa introduction, uh, napakalaki ng uh, Filipino community dyan. And as yes. per our experience din, Miss Anna, with our approved uh, student visa na nasa Canada ngayon, hindi naman sila nahanapan, nahirapan maghanap ng work kasi ang daming sure. recommendation from Filipino community. Okay, so ito may, may question from Christian. What are the usual part-time jobs being taken by students while studying? Okay. Another question dito, Miss Anna, that to connect to Christian, ano, Do you suggest, kasi as as uh, you representing Coast Mountain College, mas maganda ba na yung part-time job na kukunin ko has something to do with my course para at least it will add dun sa experience ko or something? Definitely, definitely. Kasi um, katulad niya, no, karamihan ng mga estudyante natin are taking business programs. no. So, Um, yung mga estudyante natin nandoon, ang kanilang part-time job ay sa hotel, as um, front desk, sa sa customer service, sa, sa Safeway, sa Walmart, or um, customer service sa, sa restaurant, sa fast food chains, or ganon. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga jobs actually talaga na nandoon sa terrace, match na match din siya sa mga programs na tinitake mo. Like I've mentioned, kaya nga po limited yung programs namin kasi yung mga programs na ino-offer namin, yun yung mga industries na meron po ang region. So, definitely po talaga, um, ano siya, kumbaga related po siya sa inyong kukunin. So, syempre, depende na lang po kung Kung, kung ano ang pipiliin nyo. But that is um, something na helpful din kasi nga the, the companies and uh, the networks na available sa Terrace is also in line din sa program na tinitake Let's say for example, no, social service work. Napaka-indemand yan. Napakaraming daycare centers. Napakaraming mga community services um, sa, sa Coast Mountain College. Chefs, Napakaraming restaurants, hotels, no? So, huwag po kayong matatakot na you won't have any part-time jobs. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, spouses nga and partners ng students agad-agad nakakuha ng ng ano, ng ng job. What more na kayo may mas edge kasi you're you're studying, no? You're gaining a qualification, 'di ba? So, yeah. True. Dapat saka Pinoy pa kaysa naman sa abroad 'yan, nakakagawa ng para niya. Magkarap talaga ng extra income. Ayan. Okay. Tama. I have a couple of questions pero pagsasamahin ko na lang siya mamaya sa last part okay. ng uh, discussion natin, Miss Ana. Pero ito kasi sabi ni Joy, ayan, meron po, 
meron po ang bachelor degree ah meron yata ako baka meron akong bachelor degree no 2004 however i also have diploma in hr and admin recently ayan so parang ibig sabihin uh, dalawa does i require or can i continue the same course as international student at coast mountain college Oo. okay so, okay Um, mm-hmm. alam niyo po, okay, first is that definitely wave na IELTS mo. Um, yoch kasi kasi bachelor degree holder ka na. So, yon, that that's one, that's and then alam mo, yung mga estudyante natin na nag-graduate ng bachelor's degree dito, they're taking the post degree. Okay? Mm-hmm. Diploma. So, ibig sabihin, that's a level up of your bachelor's degree here in the Philippines. Kaya nga sinabing post-degree. Now, yung post-degree diploma natin um, in business administration, that is actually a combination of HR, accounting, and human resources. So, iba naman yung post-degree kasi... Um, eto tatlong concentration ng ang matitake mo eh so it's a mixture of those three um concentrations so definitely pwedeng pwede ka sa post degree diploma okay that, that's very good all right so ito na may mga pahabol lang tayo so i have two more questions dito coming from Jameson i think uh, i think this is about PGWP rin no pag-usapan natin yan later on uh, kasama si Emily And of course, ito nga rin yung graduate ng four years. Pwede po pa mag-full-time job while studying? No po. Yes. Um, huh? Oh, okay. Graduate ah, po ng four pa. years. Well, pwede po pa mag-full-time job while studying? Uh, yeah, the answer is no po. Kasi as, as a student po doon, uh, ano lang po, 20 hours. hours per week. Okay, pero you can actually work. Uh, wala siyang limit ng time during semester Unlimited break. po. We're during yes. uh, holidays. Martin. Christmas break and summer break. Yan. Unlimited yan. Pwede But ka man, 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 40 hours, 60 hours. May mga break din na you can actually earn more. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas break and all. Okay. Yes. Ito naman, Miss ano, Anna. Yan. Sa mga viewers po natin na medyo late sooner, may mga tanong kayo dyan. Guys, don't worry. Right after we end our Facebook live, you can actually rewatch the video. Ayan po, panoorin niyo yung buong presentation kanina ni Miss Anna. Share it to your friend, lalo na yung nagpaplano talaga na mag-international student sa Canada or planning to move to Canada kasi the fastest way to enter Canada is through student visa. Kaya dapat panoorin niyo na lang po yan. Okay, our last question sa'yo Miss Anna, just to give the answer to everyone na ito yung pinaka-concern nila. Okay, It's, it will be two questions. Number one, magkano ba talaga yung kakailanganin nilang initial payment sa inyo yan para masimulan na nila ang kanilang application? Okay, and second is kailan yung next intake na available uh, ng uh, Coast Mountain College? Okay, so the initial deposit we require is 7,000 Canadian dollars for us to process your letter of acceptance. The 7,000 Canadian dollars, that includes your first SEM tuition fee and your temporary insurance. Okay, kasi mahal po ang walang insurance doon. So we want to make sure that while you're um, applying for your own insurance, okay, covered po kayo ng insurance for your first semester. Okay, now... It will be just different, Sir Juni, sa, sa culinary. Kasi sa culinary, uh, since it's a trades program, we require po the full year tuition fee po. That's the requirement from the trades industry. So, but other than that, all of our programs, the initial deposit is $7,000 Canadian dollars. All right. Okay. Wait lang. Kailangan ko na reply ito. Uh, Uh-huh. Okay, so thank you so much for that answer, uh, Miss Anna. And para sa mga viewers po natin, ito guys, uh, we have so many advantages kasi talaga if we will start as our stepping stone to permanent residency ang student visa. Kasi like I said, uh, dahil free naman po ang consultation, ayan, nasa screen po natin ang contact number ng the visa center, 
during the consultation po, pwede nyo na malalaman if ever that later on you're going to continue your application for permanent res residency, bibigyan kayo ng result ng the visa center if uh, uh, mababa ba yung points na nakuha mo para sa passing score ng permanent residency. Kasi if, if you are past naman yung score mo, then for sure, visa center will push you, no? Na why not magdaan pa sa student, di ba? If diretso ka na sa PR. Pero if medyo nakamiss ka ng konti, and then may explain po sa inyo ng, ng the visa center why uh, 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 the studying in, in Canada will help you get more scores. So doon pala malalaman nyo na if makukwalify ka for permanent residency after your study. So, kaya dapat po, i-avail nyo na yan, free assessment and consultation po yan. So, i-message nyo na po ang uh, the visa center or if you have a prepared CV, better po to send that to our email address na na nasa ating screen din. Alright, so Miss Anna, uh, last word mo para sa mga babae natin na yan na, na interesado na ngayon na mag, uh, simulan ng kanilang pag-aaral sa abroad, lalo na po dyan okay. mismo sa British Columbia sa Canada. All right. So um to everyone who's interested po talaga na mag-study abroad especially in Canada, I would really really would want you to plan well. Okay? Plan ahead, plan well. Dahil becoming an international student is not that easy talaga, no? It's going to be a roller coaster ride, no? But but okay, you have to be prepared, okay? Especially financially prepared. Hindi po basta basta lang yan. It's a big investment, pero the benefit, but it's beneficial in the end, okay? So um, with the help of the visa center and um, Coast Mountain College, we'll be able to, you know, fulfill your Canada dream, of course, and um. Ngayon pa lang, no? We are already welcoming you to Coast Mountain College. So, um, lang po, um, if you have questions about Coast, Coast Mountain College, feel free to message our um, TVC uh, team and they'll be happy to help you out. Thank you so much, right, Sir Juni, for much. inviting yeah. Coast Mountain yeah. College. Yeah, thank you for that. Bye, Stacy. Uh, nice evening. All right, yes, see you have soon. a great weekend. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so guys, that's Miss uh, Anna Pukong from Coast Mountain College. Jan po sa British.